Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now the piece of content today, which I'm, you know, you've seen from the thumbnail, something that I've been wearing in a couple of um, pieces of content while I've been testing it out and I've certainly had quite a bit of interest. So I normally spend a little bit more time testing this, but you know, I've pretty much been wearing it the entire time that I've got it. So I've, I've had this now for about three weeks. What we're here today to look at is the Rogue hoodie from Helicon Tech. Now, you might have noticed that I've made quite a few Helicon Tech videos recently, and that's mainly because I'm just very impressed with the quality and the standard and the value that you get from Helicon Techs in their products. Um, I've just become, as I say, very impressed and certainly a huge fan of theirs. Um, and I want to test out more of their gear. Full disclosure, this wasn't sent to me. This was purchased with my own money. Uh, we'll be looking at the Multicam Black version today. There are two versions of this. There's a Multicam Black, which I have here, uh, and there is also a Tiger Stripe version as well. I thought that this version was just a little bit more low key. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll put there just what the Tiger Stripe version looks like. I, I, I actually quite like it, but I think this one, certainly when you're wearing it at a distance, you can't tell that it's got multicam panels on it, whereas the Tiger Stripe version just screams out a little bit more. Hi, I'm over here, whereas this one's a little bit more, more low key. Um, so what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around so that we can have a look at the different kind of sections on here. You can see more of this rather than more of this, uh, and we'll we'll look at that while I'm doing that. You know, if you've in, if you're enjoying this content, then please feel free to like this and subscribe. That'd be awesome if you want to share it as well. You know, that would be great too. But for now, let's turn the camera around so we can see more of this. So it's not really moved the camera down much other than you know you see less of this beautiful thing. Uh, there's the dogs wandering around today so if you hear little tippy taps that's that's, that's what the noise is. Um, okay where were we? So this is the multicam black version. It is a full zip hoodie so as far as you know it's not like a smock or an anorak where you get a quarter or a half zip. It goes all the way down. The zips there are how many zips there are one two there are five zips kind of five there are some secret compartments in here so i suppose there are seven zips they are all ykk zips they all have a nice uh, pull on there so that you can get them up and down uh, the one on the front here if i come in a little bit closer hopefully oh, <laughs> wrong one you see it zips all the way up and there is a, uh, a cover there to protect your beard uh, or your neck i suppose if uh, just in case the, the hood itself is a good sized hood. Um, there are pulls so that you can pull that close if you choose to do that. Um, the one thing I do say about the hood is that it's, it's, it's got this, it's got a multicam panel in it, but what it does is it just lends a little bit of rigidity to the hood so that when it's on your back, I find there's nothing worse when it comes to hoodie than a, a slouchy floppy hood. Um, this one sits up a little bit proud, which I quite like. When it's on, it also gives the hood a, a nice shape. It feels like, you know, it's, it's on your head, it's there, it's nice. Um, as far as construction-wise is concerned, it's made from polyester all the way through. There are some cotton bits, which are the, um, so the, the, the lower trimmings. Um, which I believe is 50% cotton, 50% polyester. Uh, and then you might be able to see this. Hopefully you can see this. So you'll see a V that runs across there and comes just underneath the chest. So this panel here is where the multicam is on top of um, just the normal polyester. And then for the pockets, you have two large pockets here, which again are constructed from the multicam. The multicam is a, a, a ripstop multicam. The pockets here aren't lined, but the back of the multicam material is actually quite nice. It's got a, it's almost got a smooth feel to it, so you do, it doesn't feel rough against your hands. 
when they're in there but you, you certainly know that it's there and it feels rough um, you've got that rip stop so if, you, if you're going in a, a lot and you think that there's going to be a lot of wear in there they, they, they do feel tough the only other two areas that you get this multicam on there is on the sides here there are two pockets which we'll look at in a second that you can put stuff into that use the same material now those sleeve pockets as mentioned are both identical so on each sleeve they're exactly the same you have a zip to open same on this side a zip to open you have a velcro panel the velcro panel on this side or at least on this side is completely blank whereas the velcro panel on this side has the Helicon Tex um, chameleon stitched into it which is a, it's a nice little feature this doesn't come with it but this is one of my favorite patches so you know I'll make sure that that's on there as far as the size of this it's probably about six inches by six inches but you could easily fit a wallet in there or even if you wanted to have something like a rights in the rain notebook again that will fit in just hold on to the sleeve a bit and it closes up they're not too bulky sometimes you do find when you have these bicep style pockets that when you're moving your arm around you, you feel that they're there the material that they're made from is, is nice and and it, it does move a little bit for you so you don't feel like you have this huge padded section on the front on the front section here if I move these zips out of the way there are two pockets there's one either side of the main zip for the zipper these follow that panel so this this is actually what the pocket is it's this full panel here both of them have reversed stitched YKK zippers same on the side actually I forgot to mention there so these are all re reversed stitched so there's less snagging on other things um, but you know you have a small zip garage at the top which you can push it into to make it a little bit more discreet the zips are fined on here because they use this reverse stitching as well there's there's less noise when you've got it on and it just doesn't sound like the zips are there um, again with each of these if I put my hand in you can see it goes all the way through to this side panel where the stitching is all the way across the bottom and even all the way up here closer to my collarbone it's very easy to be able to again you know using the wallet you can fit a wallet in there um, if you've got some gloves you can put your gloves in there this is a, this is um, a small patch called an otters, otters pocket I got this from Firefly 15 these are great I'll leave some links in the description below um, but even then you can see that one of these even if you needed to fit a small pouch into there you can put that in zip it up and you can stow that away both of the pockets um, are completely symmetrical so if you wanted to do the same on the other side um, then you can you can put that in there and you know whatever you've got stowed away perfectly I haven't haven't used this as much for keeping gloves or, or a beanie or anything like that in but these are perfect for that you put it in it's there it's away I suppose even as well if you wanted to put a mobile phone in there rather than it being on your pocket or in, 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 your, in your jeans it makes it harder for pickpockets because they need to get close they need to get close into your chest which is you know anything within that region for somebody to get into that position to try and take something from you um, it's very difficult it's very hard for you to, uh, to, to be able to ignore that and then moving further down you've got the final two pockets or it's actually four pockets so what you'll see is across the front this again so there is this this top panel here is the, are these top pockets but there's actually a spacer or a gap between these so here you can see the normal uh, polyester lining of polyester um, material but then underneath here with this stitch this is where the multicam black comes back in um, these are really large very generous pockets so they go all the way from there down to the bottom I mentioned in previous videos my my span is exactly nine inches if I was to put this in here these are nine inches tall and hey yeah roughly nine inches wide apart from this this cutout section here um, I mean I can show you again foot fitting a wallet in there which as you'd expect is very easy they just slip straight in there 
Um, if I was to show the otter's pocket again, you know this, if you have a pouch or anything that you need to put in, you can put that in there um, and it, it just disappears because the pockets are that big and that generous. Now what I did mention as well is, if I just grab my wallet again, is that there are two further pockets, or at least one, two, three, four. There are some extra pockets in here. Hopefully the camera will be able to pick this up. But here there is an extra zip which is done one, with one of those lining zips like you see a lot in ladies clothes where it, it's it's stitched in so that it's, it's more kind of concealed. So in here there is a 10, 12 centimetre opening and inside that opening you can easily fit a wallet into that zip it back up again so that you know that it's there I can feel that it's in my pocket if someone was to put their hand in there then they wouldn't be able to get that you'd have to unzip this in a pocket be able to reach into that and then be able to take it out it's perfect for things like car keys anything that you want to put into this larger pocket when you're running around and you're bouncing around your car keys jangle and make noise in your pocket so if you want something that's a little bit more quiet put that into this inside pocket zip it up oh, zip it up they're in there and they're safe and there are two further hidden pockets here in the chest so as I mentioned, you know, we've got these two on the front. But what they've done is the backing of these two pockets on the inside, there are two further pockets. So if I come in closer, hopefully you'll be able to see here that this comes down probably again another seven or eight inches. On this side, hopefully you'll be able to see in there in the mesh pocket that I've put right in the rain. And that fits in perfectly as well. Great for car keys all of that sort of stuff and as well you know here's that otter's pocket again which fits in perfectly to keep that concealed and away from hands if you wanted to make sure that you got something and it got extra protection in there size wise this is a european large or a us medium i come in at 510 i have a 42 inch chest um, roughly 100 kilos which is about 220 pounds I consider myself to have more of a, an athletic dad bod if that's, a, if that's a category but what I do find is it's just a little bit big but for me I've always had that just stupid body where I tend to be in between sizes if I'd have gone for a medium I think a medium feel, well the large for me feels a little bit larger than a normal large. It's almost like a, a large plus rather than an extra large. So I think if I'd have gone for the medium, it probably would have fit a little bit better. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because I, I, I can easily put other items or other layers underneath this if I wanted to. But then when it's on... I don't feel like it's three sizes too big so I'm beating around the bush on that one for everybody here in Europe it just feels just a slight bit too big I don't know if that's going to help you or not in your decision whether to go for a, a small or a medium or a medium or a large if, you, if you're lucky enough that you can get somewhere to try one on then I definitely recommend trying one on um, in fact, I'd like to hear in the description below, have, have you had one of these and found that you normally go for a medium and it's just just a tad too big or... Yeah, so, I mean, other, other, other than that, um, I, re I really like this. Um, yet again, it's another great product from Helicon Text that um, I just really like. It's, 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 a, it's a great hoodie. It feels very, very well made, and because I've gone for the Multicam Black version, it just feels like a hoodie rather than a tactical style hoodie. But, you know, I get to wear my Helicon Tech patch on the side, which feels pretty cool. Now what I'll do is I'll leave some links in the description below to this for on, on the Helicon Tech's website. Some of those may be affiliate links if you choose to use those. That just helps my channel out a little bit. I get a small kickback 
um, from, from those links. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Um, it just helps me to fund my channel so I get to buy more products like this to test out. If you'd like to see more from me in the future and on other items that I'm currently testing out, look for me on Instagram at morelander underscore edc and you'll be able to see those sort of things uh, and follow me on um, social media. That would be awesome. I'm also on Facebook, but I, I just tend to be on Instagram a lot more. Um, don't forget to like, that would be great. Don't forget to subscribe, that would be even better. And don't forget to share, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Um, and yeah, cool. For now, stay safe, stay Morelander, and stay DC.